Hello YouTube friends, this is Josie G and I'm here with another rescue doll. It's been rescue, rescue, rescue. Um, but, oops, let me turn this down a little bit, sorry about that, it's a little obnoxious. Um, I was just listening to some music while I was working on these dolls. Anyway, um, I've already prepped her hair, I already re-trimmed it, and this one had ponytails or braids because you can tell she has a split in the back of her head um, where the part was, and her hair is very thin. They, it was either brushed a lot, which could be, or the way the part was, I don't know, but her hair is kind of thin. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but I've left it a little choppy because um, I thought it looked kind of cute choppy. It was already cut when I got her, um, and her bangs were terrible. They were like splayed all over the top of her head, and it looked bad. So what I did is I took some spray gel, and she's been sitting like this for about a week. And I spray gelled her hair over, and then I had to actually put bobby pins in her hair to hold it up. I don't know. See, it's already coming out. Ah, so frustrating. You can tell. See that? Already split apart. I didn't want that to happen. Ah, I think I even hairsprayed it, because... The spray gel was not working entirely, so I might have to do that again, because I really wanted her to have like a, uh, I just really wanted her to have a, and I didn't want these big bends in her hair either, but it was better than the alternative. The alternative was not attractive at all. I mean, it looked bad. It was like these pieces that were like, she, she just looked almost like a girl alfalfa. It was bad. <clears throat> so, anyway, this looks a little bit better. And I can put a little pin here, because I found mini bobby pins at the grocery store. And they come in black, and then um, the color that was in her hair, which is like a blonde, or regular bronzy blonde color. Um, bobby pins come in all different colors, but these are regular size, and the ones that I found, the mini ones, were about this big, which is pretty small compared to a regular size bobby pin, which is this big. So that that's pretty good. Anyway, so her hair is a little choppy. It's it's better on this side than that side, but that's okay. And like I said, it had already been cut. What I did is I went back and brushed it all out and retrimmed it up and made sure that the edges were... And she has this little peak back here, which would be natural. That would be a natural... Like it's almost like a Dorothy Hamill <coughs> in the back, an old Dorothy Hamill haircut. Um or wedge or whatever you want to call it back there um, and that's okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the curling iron and try to curl some of these top pieces under a little bit so it kind of gives it a little bit more fullness and that's what I did actually to my Pete doll it was a Tolly Tots doll and his hair was stick straight when I cut it all off and then I went back and curled it because he needed some volume rather than the stick straightness. It didn't look good. So she's got a little mark on her cheek. I can't get it off and without taking her blush off, which I think her blush is in the wrong place anyway. So I'm going to have to take some acetone, take all of that off all together and then reapply her blush like further over here. I'm going to have to do that. So we'll see because she looks kind of kind of 20s. I was hoping to make her into a famous doll, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, that's okay. She's pretty cute anyway. Okay, so let me start on that, and then I will be back to show you the results. Hold on.